Today on Newsbreak, we'll have a look at results from last night's season opener for girls basketball, and we'll have a look at what's trending today. All this and more on this Tuesday, November 21st, 2017. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Jacob Ponsla. And I'm Courtney Dalton. Let's take a look at today's top stories. A reminder to music students that cookie dough orders are due Monday. The proceeds from sales will go towards your music trip. If any of you are interested, please meet November 26th at Lakes Regional Hospital at 3.30 for the Tree of Love Lighting. Sing carols, talk with community members, and have refreshments. Kid Club is requesting your help in their Warm Hearts, Warm Hands winter clothing drive. Please consider donating your new or gently used winter clothing to make a difference in your community. Coats, hats, mittens, gloves, snow pants, and boots will be greatly appreciated. This drive starts and runs through December 21st. You may drop off your donations at the high school anytime. The Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association is starting an advisory group to come up with music-based events for the area for 7th through 12th graders. If you are interested in helping come up with fun youth events, sign up on a sheet outside the band room. The first meeting is November 30th at 6 p.m. at the Lakes Art Center. Mrs. Nelson is encouraging all students to be looking at their second semester class schedule and setting up a time with her to discuss any changes. An ACT prep course will be held 8th period during 3rd and 4th quarter. Sign up with Mrs. Nelson. Happy birthday today to Sophie Hinn and over the holiday break to Caleb Ullman, Emma Landine, Adam Wicks, Seth Boss, Carson and Carter Axford, Joe Stein, and Joan Boone. Now let's take a look at today's weather. Thanks guys. Taking a look at your weather for today, we should see mostly sunny skies. Might still be a little windy. We could see gusts over 40 miles per hour, and a high of 29 and a low of 16. So still pretty chilly at night. As for Wednesday, sun and clouds mix, high of 35, wind still 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then for your Thanksgiving, we should see mostly sunny skies, winds only 5 to 10 miles per hour, and a high of 43, so it should be pretty nice for Thanksgiving. But for now, back to you guys. In girls basketball from last night, the JV and varsity squads both took on Sioux Central. In the varsity game, the girls would fall behind quickly 17 to 4. They struggled to really get anything going, however, this would end by the end of the first half. Emma Lovell provided a spark for the Indians, scoring three straight buckets. Eventually, the Indians would tie the game and go into halftime down just two points. Coming out after the half, it was a back and forth game until the last few minutes. At this point, the Indians would grab a few key buckets and eventually ice the game with some huge free throws. The girls' basketball team starts the season 1 0 with this 38 34 win. The girls will travel to Newell Fonda tonight to take on the 1A, 8th ranked Mustangs. Some postseason honors for volleyball were announced today by the Sioux City Journal. The newspaper's all Northwest Iowa team included Spirit Lakes Peyton Aaronstorff on the first team and Emma Lovell on the third team. Lovell also earned all district honors from the Girls High School Coaches Association. All state football honors were also recently announced. Spirit Lakes Ben Steffens was named the top kicker in 3A. The varsity boys basketball team will participate in the East High Jamboree in Sioux City tonight where they will take on Sioux City North. The Boji Mammoths hockey team will host Mitchell at the Boji Bay Ice Arena on Friday night at 6.30. Good luck to the boys swim team as they compete at Sioux City North tonight. That is a look at sports for today. Back to you guys. Now let's take a look at trending today. A look in trending for today. Seven-year-old Amoy Antoinette has been wowing the internet with her love for science. Her interest in science started at age three when she stumbled upon her dad's microscope when he was studying biology. Her videos started going viral when her dad started posting them in 2015. Amoy states that she loves science because there's always something new to learn. Amoy says her dream is to become a neuroscientist and help people with neurological problems. That's all for today. Back to you guys. Thanks for watching today's show. Enjoy your long Thanksgiving break.